Hello, my friends. This is The Art of Prepping. Thanks for joining me on the podcast today. Today, we're looking at 10 disasters that are least likely to occur and the most difficult to prepare for. But first, let's look at a list of disasters that occur on a more regular basis. Uh, these are the more logical types of disasters to prepare for uh, due to the ongoing state of occurrence. And so first off, I would say famine, and then heat waves, volcanoes, avalanches, uh, blizzards, tornadoes, earthquakes, cyclones, uh, tsunamis, wildfires, floods, nuclear power plant accidents, and of course, war. Uh, these are the ones that kill the majority of people throughout history. Let's look at now the main list here, the list of least likely disasters. Uh, these are the more rare calamities. Uh, these are very difficult and in some ways impossible to prepare for. Number 10, global economic collapse. Uh, we're pretty familiar uh, with uh, having recessions in a, in a country or a nation state going through a recession. Uh, by some people's estimates, uh, we have gone through a global recession. Um, but in a lot of ways, we have no idea what a global economic collapse would entail. We don't know if it would collapse governments, how that would affect continuity of governments. Uh, we don't know how even a reset of currency would even happen. So that made number 10. And as, as we go down the list, things are going to get worse. As you'll see, because on number nine, we have global phase six pandemics. Horrible, uh, especially if it was a type of like plague, uh, very hard to contain. Number eight, a super mega thrust earthquake. I looked this up and was shocked about how many people have died through history. It happens pretty much with no notice and bam, you got people uh, that are in peril uh, immediately. Number seven, a nuclear holocaust. Uh, this kind of goes hand in hand with number six, a super volcano, because of the way that it creates a disturbance in the upper atmosphere, blocking sunlight. And so with the nuclear holocaust, for example, you, you could possibly have a nuclear winter for many years. Number five, global famine. I think uh, enough said right there. It'll be a really bad thing. If you don't have food, you will die. And not a lot of people around the world have a lot of stored food. Number four, pollution. On a scale that the toxicology makes life on Earth uh, unsustainable and uh, not livable. Solar EMP. Solar flares that are so intense that it would destroy our critical infrastructure. Bring us back to the Stone Age. A lot of the, the best estimates from the U.S. government says that, uh, at least in the United States, about 90% of the population would perish uh, probably in the first year. I don't think people are ready for that at all. Number two is the complete die-off of life in the oceans. Think about how many people rely on uh, just, uh, just the food and, you know, the animals uh, in the ocean. Number one, the global ecological collapse. I'm talking about the full range of the cycles of life. Uh, and some people say this is already starting with the die-off of the bees and the GMO foods, all the hybrid foods and animals being out, put out in the environment. Um, it's a bad thing. And um, I do have a bonus. This is probably the worst of the worst. Uh, the bonus is uh, a major asteroid impact on Earth. I don't know how you really could actually weather that unless you were uh, many, many miles underground and you had possibly decades worth of food and water and medicine. Now, there's other more extreme examples that could happen, like the universe exploding or our sun exploding. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that. So this is my list. Uh, I would be very interested to see what you think about this or if you have anything you would like to add um, on either one of the list. Um, but these are some things, especially on the list of least likely things to happen uh, that you may not want to be so concerned about. I'd focus on the things that happen the most uh, for obvious reasons. Thanks again for your support. I hope everyone's well. 
Uh, Thanks for joining me on the podcast. You guys take care. Hello.